Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a good morning and for that matter, a great day. Um, today I'm planning on playing more vampire survivors, as you can probably tell. Um, I've done a little bit of grinding off camera, just a tiny bit, so I could actually get more gold. Because I was honestly struggling to even get gold at all. <laughs> like, really bad. So, you know, I actually can have some might and stuff. I don't know what the meta build is. I don't know what, like, you should go for first. I don't know what you should buy. I don't know if growth or might is more important. Because growth makes it so you level up more, you know, to the point where you're, you know, actually leveling up pretty quick. But might, like, lets you kill things. <laughs> And recovery, uh, you know, recovery actually keeps me alive. So, like, it's kind of hard telling which one I should go for. But I think that this is more or less what I'm going to try is this. And if this doesn't work, then I'll quickly, you know, try out other things. Because I actually have a little bit of gold. I also unlocked X dash, the coded character, the one that requires you to input a code to get. But I, I also unlocked them. I don't think they're that important, but at least they're lucky. <laughs> you know, it's their catchphrase. So, um, other than that, I think, uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Well, hello, guys. So, um... I'm going to be brutally honest. I paused my recording and I forgot. So one of my, like m one of my completed runs, my first ever win, I sort of just didn't record it. I'm a bit annoyed, but it's fine. You know, I, I now have a bunch of, uh, options. I unlocked the music thing in the library. I'm not the biggest concerned about losing out on me picking up a music player, but you know, it it's whatever. I'm planning on going to uh the milk plant because I still have a lot to upgrade at the milk plant. So I'm pretty sure yeah, I have uh, a whole character in the bottom right, along with a ton of items, which are going to be very cool. But, yeah, so I got my first win on the library. Pretty solid run, playing Arca here. Um, I did a lot of grinding off camera. I t told you guys about it in the cut part. But yeah, more or less, I did a lot of grinding off camera. I got about enough gold that I can actually fully max out my regen and my might. So I can actually kill things along with, you know, being able to attack things. I evolved the magic wand for the first time. That was a cool upgrade. I really liked it, surprisingly. For someone who really didn't like the magic wand base ability. I really like the magic wand's upgrade. I thought it was very cool. Um, the main concern I had with it all was just, you know, it was a good run. Uh, I didn't miss, you didn't miss out on too much. It was just solid run, standard into the uh, library. Done probably a hundred million different times I got a lot of cool stuff not nothing like majorly new unlocked just hyper mode for the library of course because that's what you get every single time you win you get hyper mode I got a bit more gold this time which is nice really nice I love getting more gold so I can actually you know in the future have more of a chance at winning because you know, the more upgrades you have, the more likely you are to win, so. But yeah, no, you didn't really miss out on too much. 
Just mainly just me existing. Me winning a run. Um, I kind of wish I could have captured my first run, uh, win one run on camera, but it's fine. I'll just try to win this one. That will be, I feel like, pretty, you know, equal compensation. Gotta love getting uh, spinach when you're a flame one spot to start. Just starting out with spinach is very nice. Um, if I go Labora, I get a free item. I went Axe, so I get a free item. I get a lot of free items here, so I get to, uh, you know... If I want to go Labora, I get a free item. If I go Rune Chaser, I get a free item. I get a lot of passives, because there are a lot of unique passives on this map. The one that I'm, you know... The one that is going to be a top tier, just get rid of this one. Uh, that... Oh my goodness. The jellyfish just always screw me over. I don't know... Are you just supposed to walk over to the edge whenever you see the jellyfish so you can sneak through? Is that just what you have to do? Because every time I've encountered the jellyfish, it's just never been, like, I can't kill them in time. I don't know what you're supposed to do. It's, it's just impossible. Um, maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> Luckily, I do have max regen. So, it will sort of regen me. I really need a good upgrade. Axe is doing me fine, but... I need something like Rune Tracer or something to start cleaving through, um... More than one enemy at a time. Because Axe is fine for... A basic, you know... A basic thing, but it's not gonna save my run. Oh my goodness, uh, Oh, for once the cart actually launches off, but it wasn't really at an opportune time. I'm not able to level up because I'm not able to stand still because all these... I'm just getting swarmed, and I don't have anything to deal with it because I can't level up to get something to deal with it. Uh, this is... this is just bad. This is bad run. Maybe I can recover, but... It's not going well so far. I should have probably unlocked a Banish instead of something else. Banish is just so useful. Great, I'm getting bit. <laughs> I'm so, so 100% enjoying this. I'm not being screwed over at all. I just, I can't pick up any of the level. I can't pick up any of the experience orbs. It's just impossible. None of them are nearby. There's Santa water, but that's not going to really help me cleave through. You know, not going to really help me cleave through a lot of them. It's going to kill off, you know, groups of them, but... I'm so annoyed. Such a bad start. Just just restart. You know what? I'm going to try to stop being salty. All of the time. And just breathe. Breathe. You know? I'm just going to Mad Forest. And I'm just going to play the game. I'm probably going to have a couple runs to cut out. Because I've been pretty salty. <laughs> You know, pretty salty, like a little bit too salty. Santa water is pretty good, but just get fire wand up so that when I get spinach later, don't have to worry about it. So the things on this map are bad, 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 bad spinach. I mean, Cross isn't horrible. Cross is okay. I'll give Cross the benefit of the doubt. Cross is pretty good. I don't know. It, it, it's got low damage, which is my one problem with Cross. 
cross clover i mean once it's upgraded i'm sure it's insane but i haven't actually seen it <laughs> one of the few upgrades i don't know very well rune tracer why not you know get a bit of rune tracer in here i have one free slot so far due to having magma wand or fire wand getting bit annoyed Rune Tracer, good upgrade. Means I get armor. Uh, armor's not on the map, just making sure, you know. Armor's great with um, Hollowed Heart and Palmarola because that means increased, you know, regen, increased HP, increased armor. Generally good stuff. Um, Santa Water, Attract Orb, or Ebony Wings. These are all really good, but I've never gotten the word <laughs> birds. I'm really, really trying on this whole birds thing. I, I don't know why. I've never gotten the birds to evolve. Rune Tracer, you're going to keep me alive for longer. Bird is kind of just there in the background. I know that leveling up the birds quicker means I can get the birds sooner like the max birds but max birds is just not worth your time early game they don't like do much and if it's not 10 minutes then you can't even upgrade them so like what's the point meanwhile rune tracer great item the bouncing ricocheted uh shots from it just cleave through enemies especially later when i get clover because Goodness, or not clo <laughs> clover yeah clover gonna increase the damage of my no especially when i get um spinach uh lightning ring i want to go duplicator but i don't want to go lightning ring so sand of water maybe sand of water could be pretty good i don't want to exactly narrow off options to get birds so i guess i I just want to sit back. Don't rush anything. Because I want to get Pechone before anything. So I'm not just stuck with a useless bird. Because having one of the birds is just bad. <laughs> I hate to break people's hearts. But one bird is just bad. Both birds. Oh, well. You know what? fine doesn't matter i have both thirds anyway um i can't re I, I i know that the birds have a slight bit difference between them but i don't exactly remember the difference they've got like a different shot pattern or something something stupid like that i like ebony wings more because it's kind of cool looking <laughs> i like the purple black aesthetic a bit more than the white bird but you know that's just me um duplicator just want to get it it's gonna be great later on when i could go lightning ring no problem with that but you know i definitely you know i have one extra weapon slot so i do want to get santa water and or santa water and or the alternative of getting spinach no don't get spinach that would be extremely dumb especially on this map spinach was sort of you know just getting spinach on this map is just not a good idea you know since there's already one on the map um bird <laughs> why not I should probably level them both up now, now that I have a guaranteed chance to, like, evolve them. Not like they're not gonna get evolved, the only... The only incident where they don't get evolved is if I die. So, <laughs> just don't die, poor head. So, <laughs> uh, I want to get one of the other stuff. 
I don't know which ones or which items and stuff I'm gonna necessarily want. Uh, I get a lot of useless items on this map, like Pomerola and Hollow Heart, which I'm not gonna get Whip, and I'm not gonna get, um, what's the other one? It's Whip and Garlic? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna get either of those. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not a fan of Whip and or Garlic. I think Garlic's kind of stupid, and I think Whip is just... It's a weapon. Uh-huh. Garlic's damage is just way too low. Like, honestly. In every scenario that you think you should go Garlic, just go, uh, Holy Bible. Holy Bible. There's a character that starts with Holy Bible. I'm gonna love them, because... They're amazing. Um, there's Holy Bible. Or King Bible. Uh, with Spellbinder. Uh, now I just have to hope to get Spellbinder later on. Kind of annoying that I don't get it now, but... With Duplicator, that's direct benefit. More King Bibles. Just great. Um, getting, like, marking stuff off early just makes stuff easier. Because now I don't have to think about... Oh, uh, what's my 12th item gonna be? Well, you know, what's my next weapon gonna be? Probably Santa Water, because that's an insane item. Other than Santa Water, Wand wouldn't be half bad. Wand would be pretty enjoyable. I enjoy Wand. Uh, other than Wand... I, I do have another free item. Gotta remember that. I could go Cross. Cross would be great, because then I'd have three free passives to do whatever the heck with um could go lightning ring uh mark off another free passive that's also a good like lightning ropes a pretty good one i definitely want to do go cross because cross is just pretty good here just in general maybe not good I, I, I say good, but Cross isn't good. It's more the fact that I like having all the info for the Evolve stuff. And I feel like I'm going to eventually forget how to Evolve Cross. Because I'm going to think it's Palmarola, and then I'm going to think it's something else, and then I'm going to forget that it's Clover. Because... Cross. <laughs> I'm taking way too much damage because I'm trying to kill all the bats. I'm trying to kill the mini bats because they give, they drop so much experience. But I'm just taking a lot of damage for it. Uh, Ebony Wings level or Fire Wand. Probably want to get my Fire Wand max just so when the day comes when it's like, oh, I'm dead. No. That run was going well. Uh, I'm gonna be brutally honest. This is gonna be a pretty late upload. <laughs> I have been trying to, uh, get a win in this game. I, I've gotten a win in this game before. Um, but then I didn't record it. And so, that was a whole incident. Uh, I got a win in the game. I was recording it, but then I realized that my, uh... Software was paused, and, uh, yeah, I was a bit annoyed. I'm no longer annoyed. I'm just sort of here. I'm still trying to get a win. I've gotten a win before. Um, so getting a win isn't necessarily my biggest concern. Why, like, or how I'm gonna get a win. I know how I'm gonna get a win. I just... Kind of annoyed. Just here. Um. But... I want to at least get a decent run, because if I get a decent run, then I can at least, you know, feel like I did something. I've done a lot of grinding off camera. I've done a lot off camera, uh, trying to, you know, make this game a bit better, a bit more fun for me. Uh, I've gotten to the point where I'm pretty, you know, happy with where I'm at. I, I currently have Max Might equipped and stuff. Uh, I have Max Might. I have, um, 
making sure. I've maxed my max increase in uh, regen, got a bunch of other stuff that makes, you know, living just easier. Um, Cause that was a big concern for me is I would die very early on. I really do want to get birds um, evolved. I've had a couple good runs with birds, but they just always end up dying. If I'm gonna try to go for birds, I'm gonna not want to grab anything else. Um, because that would be kind of detrimental because birds typically um, require at least like three weapon slots to get because you're gonna end up grabbing a weapon that you don't want and or a weapon you do want but you want it to save for later because of birds you know you'll get one bird put something in between them and typically get the other and sometimes you'll just never get both birds it just happens every once in a while you'll be forced to grab three weapons that you don't necessarily want it just happens but yeah no um i have definitely Put a lot of time and effort to try to get to the point where you know winning's no longer as difficult I've unlocked hyper mode for the library because I won on the library which I feel like is by far the easiest of the maps this map this map once werewolves come is just I struggle really hard dairy plant I I haven't even been able to survive 20 minutes on Dairy Plant, let alone win. I want to unlock the new maps so I can get all the other stuff, but in order to do that, I have to, you know, I have to beat the game practically. Survive 20 minutes on it. Because uh, Arcana are on that map, uh, or on the following map after Dairy Plant. And Dairy Plant's how you unlock some of the new cooler stuff, and I really want to get to that point where I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I finally got to a good point and I'm able to do stuff. But, yeah, no, I, I got a win on Library. It wasn't horrible by any means. It was actually kind of fun. Had just a good run going into it. I've been sort of playing Arca because I feel like Arca is just a really solid all-around character. His cooldown reduction's great. He starts with Fire Wand, which is just a great weapon to both start with and just have. Its DPS is just wonderful. Especially when you get Hellfire. Hellfire is just insane. And Spinach is always an item you want to take. Like, there's never a point where you're like, Do I really want Spinach? Do I, do I really want more damage? Uh, yeah, you do. Cause later on, the damage is gonna save you. Uh, I really want Rune Tracer on this. Rune Tracer, both birds. Um, I don't think. If it's between birds and Rune Tracer, I think I'll grab Rune Tracer. No offense to birds. I know birds are like, you know, I've had Rune Tracer a lot. I've gotten the upgrade for Rune Tracer a lot. That's another one. I really badly want to get, um, I want to get Christina, which is only gotten through leveling up Pentagram a lot. I've not done that, and it is very hard to do that. Because Pentagram starts out as, like, just an actively bad weapon that hurts you. And later on becomes one of the best weapons in the game. So, you know, it's it's one of those. You actively hurt your early game to make your late game better, you know. I'd say yeah, but it sounds great. But on paper, it sounds a little bit worse and then you realize that it's actually kind of bad. Just pentagram just hurts you so much. I don't think that there's ever a point in time where I'm like, yeah, pentagram, where it hasn't just screwed me over. Because <laughs> it just deletes everything. It deletes your early game elites, which are either a vital source of experience or 
are generally like good stuff for you. But Christina's a fun character. She has some unique gimmicks that make her, you know, actively good. I want to get, so, I want to get two birds, which will give me another passive slot. And I want to get Rune Tracer. If I get Santa Water after birds, that will also be okay. If I get axes after birds, if I get whip after birds, doesn't matter. I just want to get something, lightning loop, you know, like anything after birds, that is okay. I just want Rune Tracer and I want birds. Because birds are required for, you know, I haven't evoed birds. <laughs> and evoing birds, it's not the best evo in the game, by any means. They're actually kind of mediocre. Oh, a triple chest. Actually, it's a five. It's a five chest. Nope, it's a triple. Okay. Getting more armor is not half bad, because reducing the damage you take is just always a good thing. <laughs> you know, take things slow. But yeah, no, if uh, today's upload's gonna be a bit of a late night upload. I know, said good morning and hope you had a good day at the beginning, but it, it's gonna be more of a late night upload. Oh, hey look, it's a luck increase. Sure, I'll take that more chance to get four options instead of three which isn't actually that big of a deal typically just makes it so you can get your run build going run build i really just said run build okay great thing bible i'm not a fan of clock lance believe it or not i think clock lance is kind of mediocre Okay, so I'm definitely going to want to get either, um, I'm going to either want to get Duplicator or Tome. Since neither of them are on the map, and I have free slots, a lot of free slots, that's what I'm going to want to get. Duplicator or Tome. Because Tome means more uptime. Duplicator means more <laughs> just of everything and if i'm going axes and rune tracer and king bible and cross and fire wand there's no reason not to get a duplicator like that is like duplicator build 101 but yeah duplicator would be pretty good um tome just shooting out tons of everything not a bad thing. Still looking for Rune Tracer and Birds. Looking for Ebony Wing and Rune Tracer. I will not go over. I will not. Uh, I will not. Fo wow, I just. My brain just shut off there for a moment, I swear. Uh, I will not. For. Forgo? For, for Forgo. <laughs> I will not forego for gore. I just can't say anything except for for gore when I try to say for go. I will not forgo um, rune tracer for birds. If I see rune tracer, I'm taking it. I want to make this armor pickup worth. And also rune tracer is just going to help me out a lot. Okay, here's the second wave of plants. I'm going to have to look for an opening. Opening on top major opening on top want to get there as soon as possible that tree uh no uh okay i'm out that tree almost screwed me there or go for gore oops i for gore i for gore how to speak once you get out of the ring of plants, it's pretty easy. You just sit back and don't do much. They can be pushed around a bit, but... 
Uh, I might go Axis, so I'm gonna banish Garlic. Plus, banishing a weapon makes it more likely that other weapons will appear. Just, uh, just a tip. Oh no, <laughs> not Skeleton Wave. I can somewhat cleave through them. Not very easily though. Because skeleton, skeleton box is just, mmm, not fun, not very fun at all. They just come in boxes, surround you by all sides. It's sort of a DPS test to see whether or not you can survive. My biggest problem with this map is I feel like the level system is just very slow on this map. You know? Like, you just don't gain experience as quickly. Maybe it's because you're not in a tight corridor the entire time. Maybe it's because the enemies can come from all directions, so you have to kite them a bit better. Not... Ghost, werewolf, wave. How the hell am I supposed to survive this? Ghost, werewolf is impossible to live. <laughs> I'm gonna be surrounded by all sides. Here it comes. The end of my existence. I just, I, I haven't ever survived past this wave. And leveling up during this wave is also just really annoying. There's one more projectile. Either way, it doesn't matter. Should I just give up on living? Like, what, what, I, am I just supposed to have an upgraded weapon by now? It's just obligation. Since I don't have an upgraded weapon, I'm just screwed. I kind of could have had one. I didn't pour everything. Yeah, here comes Ghost. The Ghost part is honestly what kills you. It's not even the werewolves. Just keep running. Just keep dodging. You'll make it through. <laughs> you just keep coming. You can't just keep throwing them at me. I'm sorry. How the hell am I supposed to survive? 12 waves where ghosts just constantly litter the screen. Ah, uh, now I have to take a bad item. And if I have to take a bad item, I'm taking wings. You know, like, if I'm going to be forced to take something I don't like, I'm taking wings. Now I have elite bats. Even better. Like, I'm so screwed here. I guess I was just expected to level up faster. <laughs> this map's impossible. Why is the library so much easier? I just can't pick up any of the chests, I can't kill any of the enemies, my DPS is trash, I'm just dead. Okay. I'm gonna call it here. Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't get another win, and this time on camera. Um, this episode just ended up being very annoying. <laughs> I was just very annoyed. I didn't get, I forgot to record. I didn't get what I wanted. I just died a lot. Maybe it has something to do with my build. Just my build's bad or something. Just put more effort into going into growth. Can put one level into growth. One level into that. Can't banish then, can I? Oh no, I can.
Okay, that's a bit better of a build. Either way, I feel like this needs to be the end. I can't just be continuously going at it and going at it and going at it, trying to win and never accomplishing anything. Uh, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, even if I was a bit annoyed. Um, I might record it again tomorrow and actually get a win on camera. I might do that. Or I might just fail again tomorrow. I don't know. I'm trying to decide on what exactly I want to do tomorrow, but I hope you guys enjoyed either way. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Love you guys. And goodbye.